I'd like to talk to you about something really important and can completely change everything about how you flip houses. And I don't care if you're brand new or a seasoned pro. When it comes to flipping houses, what's better, volume or margin? The number of deals, volume, or the profit per deal, margin? Hey, it's Jerry Norton, and it's been a while since we've had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So many flippers gauge the success or gauge their results by the number of deals that they do. And I've been guilty of this. I say all the time, you know, I've flipped hundreds of deals over the past 15 years. But is volume, the number of deals, is that really the right gauge for success? Is that the right model that you should have for flipping houses? I'd like to discuss on this video the difference between volume and margin and help you decide. Oh my gosh, there is a herd of javelinas. So this is just crazy that there's wild javelinas roaming around the neighborhood. I wonder how close I can get before they attack. Look at them all. I'm sitting here in the office of one of my luxury fix and flip projects. Now we staged this house and I just listed it for sale for over a million dollars. Check this out. I bought it for about 630,000. We put a little over 200,000 into the rehab. So I'm all in for about 850,000. We have it listed for sale for over $1.2 million. Now, I have some carrying costs, I have closing costs, so that's not my net. As you can see though, I should make a six-figure profit on just this one deal. If you're new and you wanna make more money in less time flipping houses, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. When it comes to flipping houses, there are two models that you can choose from. The first model is a volume model. Now the idea here is that you make a little bit of profit per deal, but you do a lot of deals. Think of Walmart, right? Walmart makes like one penny markup on a lot of its merchandise, but it sells a lot of merchandise. That's a volume model. I know a wholesaler who does 20 deals a month and he makes on average $3,000 per deal. So that's a $60,000 gross profit. Now model two is margin, right? The idea here is do fewer deals with bigger profit per deal. Think of Rolex, right? Rolex, their watches are very expensive. And so they have very high markup per watch on their model and that's a margin model. I know a luxury home flipper who only does two deals per year, but he makes on average a million dollars per deal, okay? That is a margin business model. This is my favorite Rolex watch. It's the Deep Sea Sea Dweller. It's a diving watch. It goes 12,800 feet deep because if you're ever that far underwater, you're gonna wanna be able to tell time. Now, I used a few extreme examples here. Both models work, but what is the right model for you? Stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you how to transition from volume to margin. Now, what are the pros and cons of each? Well, with a volume business model, it's a lot safer, there's a lot less risk because if you do a bad deal, it's easily absorbed into all of the other deals. It's like trying to hit a single in baseball, it's a lot safer. Now with a margin model, you're going to miss out on more deals because the volume guys are gonna pay more than you're willing to pay, so you're gonna miss out on those deals and you're gonna be going for big profit deals so you might strike out. It's like trying to hit a home run in baseball so you're gonna swing hard and you're gonna hit a home run or you might strike out hard and miss hard as well. Now I'm obviously a proponent of the margin model, but let me share with you my big aha moment where I made the transition to go from volume to margin. I used to be that volume guy. I used to run around doing all these wholesale deals and then I started doing fix and flip. And I remember one year I did 70 or 80 fix and flip projects and I had 10 or 15 projects going on at a time and I'm running around ragged, chasing after crews, and it was just really stressful. And I realized that it wasn't the lifestyle that I had wanted for myself when I got into real estate. And somehow I got myself in this 
mold of just chasing after and doing a lot of deals. Now, I was making really good money. I was averaging about 20 to 25,000 per deal, fixing and flipping these houses. They were entry level kind of starter homes, like around the 150 to 200,000 price point. And then what happened is, is I did this deal that was kind of out of my comfort zone. It was a 375,000 ARV after a pair value home. And what happened was, is I did that deal, I fixed it up and flipped it, and I made $75,000 profit on that one deal. And it was the biggest aha moment. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I made three times the profit on this deal, and it was really about the same amount of work. And really start to look at flipping houses in a completely different way of how can I make more margin. The following year after that, I did like 10 or 12 deals and I made more money that year than the previous year when I did you know, 50 deals and life was so much better. And I want you to really think about as you go out there and start to pursue deals is think about do I wanna be the volume model or do I wanna be the margin model? Leave a comment below and let me know if you're a volume person or a margin person. If you're new, make more money in less time flipping houses so that you can live your dream life by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Now, let me share with you a model that works really well for me that you can adapt as well. What I try to do is I try to target deals that make a six-figure profit per deal. Now, what happens is in that pursuit of trying to find those deals, I often run across deals where the profit margin is less than six figures per deal. What I'll often do is any deal that comes across that's below my margin threshold is I'll just wholesale those deals. Determine for you what your new threshold for a margin model looks like, and then everything that comes across your desk that's below that simply wholesale to another investor and just focus on high margin deals by wholesaling everything that is low margin. Watch this next video where I talk about the natural evolution of a flipper and really how to build a business flipping houses.